Steve and I are going to be doing the Emory Peak Trail today. It's about a 10 mile hike, five up, five back, and it has about 2,500 elevation gain. Right now it's around eight o'clock in the morning and we're hearing lots of birds chirping. Uh, we also saw three of the small deer that live in this area. So we're ready to get going. We're wearing our wide brim hats today and long sleeves because it's going to get up to maybe 90 degrees. So we're getting an early start to take advantage of the cool morning temperatures and the shade. So hopefully um, we'll get uh, quite a bit of elevation before the sun comes up over the uh, ridge here. Looking through the window there. We came here yesterday and did the um, basin loop. Today we're going to go to the left, to Emory Peak. Yeah, we did the Chisos Basin Loop Trail yesterday. Sun's just coming on the peak up there. So I'm really happy to have my Merlin Bird ID app. I just used that. There are two birds that we're hearing that it identified. Uh, one is a Mexican jay and one is a cactus wren. And we haven't seen them, but we've uh, heard them calling. Okay, we've reached the junction and we're gonna go left and follow the Pinnacles Trail and up to Emory Peak. So far we've come in 0.8. That's where we're headed. Okay, we're at the Juniper Flats area. There are a few backcountry campsites here. Uh, they do require a permit. Yeah, so I just checked on my map and it looks like there's three campsites here at Juniper Flats. And uh, we're feeling the warm air coming up off the desert area. And then in some of the drainages, we're feeling some cold breeze come down. It's very refreshing. So we're hiking on a Thursday morning and I'll give you a people update. So far we've just seen uh, three couples, so six people total. Uh, we did see quite a lot of people in the parking lot when we got there. They were getting started ahead of us, so uh, we don't know exactly where they're going, but there could be more people ahead of us up on the trail. So I think there's one more campsite over here by Boulder Meadows. 
it's nice to have a break where we're going a little bit flat. Okay, these are the Pinnacles backcountry campsites. We've come in about 2.4 miles. Doing well, still hearing the Jays, Mexican Jays. A few runs. Just loving it. Well, it's about 10 o'clock and we're now getting into where the sun's shining. There's still some trees making a little bit of shade and it hasn't gotten too hot yet. Well, we've chatted with a couple other hikers. We met uh, one lady who's from Colorado, and then a, another group that um, some people are from Austin, here in Texas, and the other are from Maryland. As some other hikers said, we're gonna enjoy every minute in the shade. It's really quite pleasant, you know, climbing but it's not too bad in the shade. We've been steadily climbing and we're just coming out at Pinnacles Pass. I'll check the elevation when we get there. Okay, we're at Pinnacle Pass. The elevation here is 7,000 feet and it's bear country, so they have a couple of bear boxes here. We have 1.5 miles to go. We've had a nice little rest here. We've got 1.5 miles to go. I think the Jays know that a lot of people rest here and they're begging for food. We're getting a nice breeze kicking up now. What do you think, Steve? That's uh, really nice. Having a good time? Uh, yeah, it's a little steep, a little, uh, little rocky, but yeah, it's all in all a really nice trail. This next section is an area that burned. I don't know when or how long ago, but they do have a warning that the trees are weakened from fire. We're kind of in the open right now and you can see the trail now heading up to the peak.
can see some people up on the little top to the left. And right. Oh, they're on the right too. Okay, you could choose. We may or may not do the last little scramble up there, especially if we can see through without it. Yeah, in the notch. This is an unexpected treat to have some shade. Kind of a flat spot with no stairs. We will have some more climbing in just a little bit. We're at the notch just below the peak, and this is where we're gonna stop, taking a little break. We're seeing a raven doing flybys, and there's some either um, swifts or what do you think? Swallows. They're either swifts or swallows. Uh, they're getting the bugs, right? Quick little birds. And then the raven's kind of flying back and forth a little bit. Quite a few of the people uh, here have climbed up the scramble to the peak, and that's how many more feet do you think it is? 100 maybe. Maybe another 100 feet, but um, we're going to opt out on that. We're just enjoying the views and taking a rest. We spent about 15 or 20 minutes up at the top and had a snack and a drink. And um, we've just come back down the steep um, scrambly section. We're almost through that. And then we'll be making our way back. It took us about four hours, starting at eight, getting about noon up to the notch there. We're making good time coming down. We're gonna go around this one point here and then we should be back at the Pinnacles Pass. Hi, it's Steve and I'm reporting from the Emory Peak Trail here in Big Bend National Park. I gotta say, it's uh, we're on the way back on the uh, Pinnacle trail side and uh, we've got about two miles left to the uh, trailhead anyway it's hot uh, it's nice um, the trails in good shape people are friendly so you should do it if you can walk 10 miles thanks bye We're back by the Juniper Flats, um, backcountry campsites.
Well, we're down to less than a mile to go now. On the way down, it's gotten quite a bit warmer. We can feel the heat coming up off the rocks in the sunspots. And then the sun coming down on us is uh, pretty hot too. And uh, even though I have a thermometer, I didn't want to look because sometimes it's better not to know. Uh, yeah, so when we finish this, it'll be 10 miles. Uh, we're really glad we started earlier this morning. Sunrise was around eight o'clock and that's when we got started. Uh, we also opted to wear long sleeves for sun protection. And uh, yeah, I think I mentioned before that it's Thursday and it's March 23rd. So today is a palindrome day. Three, two, three, two, three. So that's fun. Um, yeah, thanks for joining us. I don't know if you've ever been here. Maybe leave me a comment if you have and what trails you liked. If you hiked here at Big Ben. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope that you have a great week, and we'll see you again soon.